schools on Monday, May 13th, 2024. This decision comes in a light of improved weather forecast, indicating a reduction in heavy rains that have previously necessitated the postponement of the school reopening. At the same time, President William Ruto has instructed that money for the reconstruction of the school infrastructure damaged by the heavy rains be made available through the National Government Constituency's Development Fund. The devastating effects of floods due to torrential rainfall in various parts of the country forced the government and the Ministry of Education to delay the reopening of schools that were set to begin on April 29th this year. But now parents must start preparing their children for the beginning of the second term. This after President William Ruto announced the reopening of schools starting 13th of May this year, which is Monday next week. Atutaki watoto wetu wakose na fasi pia ya tamu ya kusoma. Ngependa kutangaza ya kwamba wa shule zetu zote za Kenya zitafunguliwa jumatatu ijayo. President Ruto says the decision to reopen schools has been informed by reports from the weatherman which indicate the rains in the country will start reducing in intensity in the coming weeks. This therefore means it will be safe for schools to resume normal operation. But questions linger over the fate of schools still submerged and those that are destroyed even after President Ruto assured parents his government will embark on the process of repairing the damaged infrastructure. All parents are advised on the assessment of weathermen and on the assessment of the government of Kenya. It will now be safe and we have made adequate arrangements. We have asked members of parliament and we have provided resources through the um, NGCDF for repair of classrooms and other facilities, learning facilities across Kenya. The government was forced to postpone the reopening of schools twice due to unprecedented floods that wreaked havoc across the country. The government will now have to work around the clock to ensure those schools that are still submerged in floods are in good condition to receive students for the second term. Tenda Nyula, Look Up TV. Now, the hearing of an impeachment